Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your speaking and welcome to another game. We are subbing Carls that is playing as Sweden and we actually have to see uh, this is an NQ free for all game uh, six player so let's see what's going on am I at war with anyone no I'm not we are bordering what's going on around here we have a uh, Okie doke, and see, we are 5th at army and we are born in Japan, so this is most probably not a good idea. Oh, he is going for a Notre Dame, pretty risky if I may say so myself, but hopefully we will be okay-ish. Let's get back here, heal up and hopefully upgrade, alright. And what's going on here? Do we want food here? Yes, we do. Chop the forest. Okay. Oh, we border Lucky Strike. Who is playing Japan? Alrighty, and he just finished Oracle. What does he actually have? He went Tradition. He's got Great Life, Oracle, and Petra. And he is... Min wow, he's got a sweet capital. Very sweet capital. How many cities does he actually have? One, two, three. Okay, so we are not that bad at the city count. Let's see exactly what is he doing in here. We have a lot of happiness, so this is pretty much okay. We like that. And what I'm presuming, he is going for some sort of... Um, uh, of an, come on, how is it called? Crossbow attack, most probably? On Lucky Strike? Yes, the only problem we have, yes, we definitely want to upgrade our armies. And I definitely, I mean like, definitely want to road here. I want to road the front versus, why are you working on a merchant? Come on. We need to set up everything properly. National College, yes, but we don't want a merchant, we want some extra food. There we go, and let's focus on food. And what you doing? Okay, this city is like have no hammers whatsoever, which means we definitely want to put a workshop in here. Go on, workshop, we don't need a market. No! I'm so slow. We are going to be in a natural golden age pretty soon. So that's pretty sweet. Now I'll definitely need a road here to try to repel Japanese army. We are fifth on army and third at hammers and we're like bazillion million like away from any good science. <laughs> So this is basically not looking that good, I would even say this is looking bad. The good thing though is that Mongolia is far far away from us, we like that very much and one more thing we like is that we have an ally. Let's see social, whoa, and we actually are a liberty opener. Okay, good to know. So we are definitely going to make more cities. Alright, good stuff. Mm, one thing though that we definitely want to do is we want to get ironworks before we are going to spam more cities. Yes, you don't want a food, you want to finish a workshop pretty fast. Good stuff. Let's go. And you want to start working on the lumber mill. And let's go here and heal up just a little bit. Alright, let's go. Next turn. Mm, I'm not that experienced at subbing. But hopefully we will manage to do a good job. 
Okay, hello barbarians, die barbarians. And we are at golden age, this is very good. And we will just go for machinery, then civil service and education. The only problem we have right now is that Japan is six stacks ahead of us. So most probably either is already on um, universities or he's just going for crossbow or something like that. So I don't really like that. Uh, it's not like it matters that much. Hopefully we will be able to survive this. Okay, and what are you going to do after National College? Of course, you're going to make a workshop. Oh, and nobody actually built a great wall. So this is one more reason. Uh, we're absolutely going to want to make a great wall right away. Let's go here. Yes, nine turns. Mm, and let's keep on scouting. Yes, we need some hammers. And let's go. National College, we should hit physics when the National College will finish. Nope, we actually did not. Well, that is not cool. But hopefully we will manage to get this. Yes, Japan's capital is pretty insane. And I believe that Keshiks are already on their way. Keshiks are very strong. I mean, like, very, very, very strong. So hopefully... Uh, he will not slaughter everyone around with those Keshiks, but we shall definitely see how this will turn out. Oh, I forgot to micromanage this city. That's not that cool. Alright, let's go for a workshop and let's keep on scouting in here. Right, good stuff. Oh, Barbarian, go away, Barbarian, come on, come on, we are, what do we have, Grassley Spices, right, Grassley's, let's get a luxury, right now, there we go, and yes, we finally managed to get Forge, yes, definitely want a Forge, there we go, we have Notre Dame, so let's get ourselves the Notre Dame up. There we go. We're ready, and we need some more hammers in our capital. Okie doke. Oh, damn you! <laughs> damn you, damn you, damn you. I forgot about you, barbarian. Ah, so sad. So sad right now. Very sad. Now I will lose my worker. Not cool. Well, that happens sometimes. Yes, there we go. And our worker is dead. No, it's not. Well, this is interesting. We actually didn't lose our worker. We like that very much. Ooh, barbarian camp. Cool. As well. So let's get our units back. We want to get a mine here and we definitely want to take a lumber mill. One, two, three. Here's a good city spot and one, two, three here. Or preferably here is another pretty good. No, here. One, two, three. Yes, here a good city spot. So we will have like two very good city spots on those mountains. We like that very much. Uh, I actually have to finish recording right now. So. Uh, yeah, in next part. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your speaking. Well, this will not be less part, but I want to tell you that I'm actually recording this a uh, couple of days after the actual game, so probably the microphone and sound is just a little bit different, and I will definitely not. Uh, I probably will not just fit in. Uh, what's actually happening on the screen and what my general plan was but I think it's best to just add a little bit of commentary and don't leave a blank spot like for 20 minutes 
so anyways let's see what's going on mm. yeah let's see what's going on we're only making like plus for fate and we actually have no chance of religion of our own well that doesn't matter that much mm. if i remember correctly i snatched notre dame not so far o far mm, back so this is pretty sweet we got a lot of happiness that we can spend waste on some extra cities now I definitely want to plant some cities in here okie doke and I see I want to get a great wall well great wall would be lovely though if I remember collect cor correctly I don't want to spoil anything but this will just not work <laughs> interesting to me is the actual city placement that Carl's did but well it's not bad I would probably plant just a little bit especially that he went for a liberty opener mm, but it's okay we'll yeah we'll do with the things that we've got since we are subbing we have no mm, well we cannot like do some stuff we have to adapt to the things that we have at hand and at hand we border Japan which is number one in score so what I'm thinking is I need to be prepared to uh, yes I'm from Poland mister <laughs> I'm from Poland so hi to all the Poland people Polish people that actually watch this video probably nobody from Poland watches this but hey maybe you are then best wishes to you so Japan we are bordering Japan though Japan seems to be friendly uh, very friendly to be honest I mean like his first he was I think he's just spying wonders he's got fountain of youth and he's like friendly but to be honest we do not like to be friendly <laughs> with strong neighbors because especially with the ones that got found in the view though I believe I cannot do much about it is and I didn't do much about it uh, since we got Mongolia I mean like this is this is a tough spot I mean you got Japan and Japan with Bushido is a very hard opponent to deal with and Japan with Bushido and a fountain of youth well what can I say this that just doesn't get along and it's not good for for neighbors of Japan and the second strong strong civilization of this game is Mongolia Mongolia has Keshix and like Keshix are well, very overpowered they are just a little bit less in combat strength that that camel archers but then again they get a lot of movement so you can offset their lesser combat strength with just a larger numbers that you can fit in and with that extra mobility remember Mongolia has one plus move on horses and I think Keshix has like plus uh, four movements so that's five movement and with five movement you can get a Keshik two tiles uh, I mean two tiles in shoot and two tiles back so wow that's like like crazy you can fit a lot of Keshiks behind like a passage or something you can just go and shoot like crazy so on attack they are stronger than camel archers because camera archers have lesser move uh, so yeah they are pretty strong if used correctly Keshix are very powerful and it's very hard to deal against that okie doke so I'm hoping to get Great Wall Great Wall would allow us to basically focus on economy Great Walls, what Great Walls gives you is you can pretty much defend with much lesser 
army than you would normally need without Great Wall. But, well, we shall definitely see how this will turn out. I really hope, if I remember correctly, I hope I will not get too much confusion with my commentary post game like in some parts I think there's like two or three more parts so overall it's only 50 minutes but then again it's quite a lot to be honest and I'm just making like a commentary after a long time so I can say some not exactly the same words I was saying uh, when I was actually playing the game but well this is best what I can do right now I I am not able to record all the time while I am playing because of some random noises at my house, so well, this is like it's have to be. Okie doke. I should probably get a, some sort of a recording studio at home, but <laughs> Maybe in the future. <laughs> oh my goodness. Damn you. Damn you, Mr. Denmark. So he just planted a city on the spot that I wanted to. Mm, we really don't like it. But hey, there's not much we can do about it. Now maybe later on <laughs> well, I'm making some crossbows uh, some composites mm, I didn't pay enough attention Did I actually switch the technology before I yes I definitely switched the technology I didn't finish finish the crossbows before actually getting those extra composites so I can upgrade just a little bit more to crossbows no, Great Wall, same turn. Damn you, Lord Appleton, damn you. Yes, Mongolia with the Great Wall. That's that's even worse. Uh, <laughs> I feel sorry for the first, first victim of Mongolia. I mean, like, Keshix plus Great Wall, like a great general in, and then go crazy with Keshix. Not cool, not cool. I'm trying to get my scout to the other side. So I can do some scouting, get to Mongolia to see what's there. What do we have here? Food, gold, yes, please give me gold and food. <laughs> Two things we like the most. Okay, well, yes, I will get one more composite. Yay, Japan. Japan is trading with us, so I think I'm kind of starting to not be that worried about Japan though it doesn't mean I don't want a standing army army is good if you have an army not even upgraded and you got gold and stuff like that you're pretty much prepared to uh, defend but if you don't have an army and someone close to you, your neighbor sees like mm, hey hello Sweden you're less than army then even if they are really nice mm, they are very tempted to attack you so just take a notice about it mm, uh, yay we got there and there's nothing there we cannot move anymore I will definitely want to get workshops and with crossbows up I will want an uh, iron works and then I will probably make settlers and start expanding just a little bit more since we got that extra happiness. Okay, gold. And Sydney likes us. Oh, we are losing the happiness from Tire. Sadly, mercantile city states are very overpowered, let's be honest. <laughs> Very overpowered. OK. 
Cavaniers do something on the screen. <laughs> Maybe I'm just FK. <laughs> No, the mouse pointer is moving. I want to take uh, extra attention to you all that I finally managed to get my mouse working. The second thing I'm working on to do is actually getting... Mm, well, I I set up the recording, but I, uh, I need to set up a format. I need to find a format for the audio recording and the actual video recording that will allow me not to do any more editing to the actual videos. What I have a problems it with, with the noise in the background, I kind of need to crop the audio from the recording from the movie, then remove the noise and then paste it to the video and convert it so there's like extra work and I'm trying to sort it out so I'm slowly learning all those programs and with the recording so I'm trying to work this out so I will not need to do that step and I can just um, I can just upload right away after I will finish uh, after I will finish recording but we shall see how that works out. Oh, I'm very sorry, I'm yawning so much though, and it's not even late in here <laughs> while I'm recording this. So I'm gonna get machinery next turn and it's gonna be a perfect timing with a workshop in my capital, then I can start Ironworks right away. I will probably finish the settler though. The reason for that is mm, while the settler will be moving to my city spot, I will make ironworks this way. I can save four turns mm, that I will actually have to wait while I would like, for example, build ironworks first. Then I will make a settler and that settler would move. That would mm, like waste all those turns and while I make the settler first, it will move already to the spot, then I will make iron works and I will have to like wait one turn or something like that or two turns while the actual settler will get to the place of of my next city. And when iron works will end then I can just plant the settler and we're off. So Mongolia is first in army. Kind of be uh, to be expected. We reached medieval era. Mm, so he's got Keshix and as soon as he will have enough Keshix he'll probably start to slaughter uh, close his neighbors. As you can see Japan is like crazy wonder spamming. Well he's got Petra, he's got very nice desert capital. So he's like good to go. What I think, yes, I decided to take Kathmandu out. Mm, first of all, I will not try to ally culture city-state and I just want to get that extra city's population <laughs> so I can get just a little bit more science uh, since we are pretty much, pretty much, we are very behind in science. Japan is killing us and it's always bad to have a neighbor that is like going crazy with science <laughs> and you are so far behind. Probably I should have went for universities now from the perspective I knew, I know now that uh, I was not in a real threat from Japan, but at the moment I was playing, uh, I couldn't guess that since I hopped in on the turn 60 or 60 something, so it was pretty hard to tell, so I wanted the defense against Japan since Japan Every war sieve is like kind of a um, how to call it. It's it's kind of risky, you know, when you are bordering a war sieve, because theoretically, a person that is playing a war sieve um, would probably like to attack and use that war sieve to the best of its abilities. But then again, if you work on that, you kinda can 
mm, bait your neighbors into thinking that oh I'm a warship I'm going to attack you all and then you just echo up <laughs> and you don't actually attack anyone and all around are like warring and getting you to I mean like they are preparing to get uh, to to attack you or something like that and then you don't do it mm, so you have a window of opportunity that you can get ahead in science and get your economy up while other people think that you are going military but then again it's a risk of course because they can call your bluff and while they will make army to defend because they thought you will attack and they will notice that you are not attacking and you are keeping lesser army then they can attack you so <laughs> it's only risky but like a warring sieves gives you that bit of an advantage and especially if you are like first or last or third in army and the war sieve is not first or not second then it's like mm -hmm, does he have larger army than me or does he have lesser army than he? I know he's not first, but is he second? Is he fourth? I mean, like, with that sort of thinking, it's really hard to to think what to do. And we got, like, some... What did I do? Something... I, uh, I connected something to the trade network. <laughs> Uh, so we got some city-state allies out of the blue, and we really like that. <laughs> and with our fresh crossbows that we made to defend against Japan, or attack against Japan, I don't actually remember what uh, what my plan was, but we have those crossbows, so we are going to use them and take Kathmandu out, so we will have that extra city. Yes, Japan is killing us in production, though the good thing is we are second. So that's not that bad, but it's not good either since they are killing us in population. Even Denmark is killing us in population. And population means science. No, thank you very much. Um, I'm actually playing a game right now. Come on, be nice, you are Russian, and write something to the man. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Okie doke. I think Mongolia and Persia has actually started to fight. Come on, yours. See what's going on there. 30 happiness. This is sweet. <laughs> Well, there's, though it's all jungle, there's not much food, to be honest, in my cities. I would really <laughs> love to have more food, but, well, you gotta do what you gotta do, and work with the stuff you have. Shoot, thank you. No, why did you move there? <laughs> Okay, road, yes, thanks to the road we can shoot now. I remind you all, if you want to wage war against anyone, you gotta have roads. Roads are the most important thing when you attack or defend. The mobility roads give you are just awesome, especially for those uh, horse units. Well, for every unit, uh, mobility is just great. Even for crossbows with roads, you can put a crossbow on hill then it can soak the damage and you can move back and move something in and shoot and fight and everything so really make roads people make roads they really help you i know they cost gold but they really help you they are worth it you see i did even a couple of roads on sigtuna on the hill and on the planes so i can actually move around in there and be able to fight so mongolia declares war on persia what a surprise i always thought that mongolia is very peaceful they are peaceful nations and kashiks are like uh well 
the word just flew out of my mind because I cannot find any word that describes Kashyyyk as a peaceful thing. <laughs> well, overall, Mongolia is just not. Oh, it's not not good. Very war, very worry. Okay. Though I am hoping that Persia can was prepared for that. I always am hoping that actually people that border sieves that have some crazy special units like Arabia or Mongolia really put up their defenses, they go like walls, castles, they get knights and a lot of crossbows and forts and everything so they are prepared when Kashyyyk actually come or common archers come and knock on their doors and of course uh, most of the times I'm greatly disappointed <laughs> but well that happens sometimes I know it's um, a lot of people just like to take the risk because you know uh, I mean like when you are bordering a sieve war sieve or any sieve or him, you at some point you got a choice do I risk and build up like get some universities before crossbows and take a risk that they can actually rush us or kill us or do I go military and then I risk falling behind it's always like come out of decision decision decisions do I uh, choose this or do I choose that and it's really those moments in the games are pretty crazy I mean there are a couple of those moments I mean do I go universities or do I go crossbows do I go public schools or do I rush artillery uh, well those are the two most crucial points crucial points in the game because later on basically even if you take planes you still don't go that far away from plastics and research labs but crossbows or universities or public schools and artillery are the very tough choices and they can give a window of opportunity for someone that can attack you in that in that time so in this game we went crossbows so we are again falling behind in science anyways thank you very much for watching um, I invite you to another part bye bye